Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome SVP of Alexa, Tom Taylor. and the developer community. You're our pioneers. You're building voice experiences that change the way people interact with technology. Alexa, we've been moving very fast. Today I'm going to share some recent advances over the last year, and I'll give you a sense of where we're taking Alexa and what we're doing to help give your vision a voice. Amazon's mission has always been to be Earth's most customer-centric company. We're inspired by customer obsession and a passion for invention. A few years ago, we saw an opportunity to bring together several emerging technologies to create something truly magical, something we thought would redefine everyday convenience for people in their homes, on the go, at work, and beyond. We imagined a computer in the cloud that would be completely controlled by your voice, always available to help answer questions or entertain, People would be able to converse with it in a very natural way, just like a friend. And you know that friend as Alexa. Now, we couldn't have made our vision a reality without you, the developers, because people want to be able to ask Alexa for help with anything, from setting timers or checking an account balance or calling Uber or ordering Starbucks. And they do that through the tens of thousands of skills that you've created with the Alexa Skills Kit. And because we believe choice is best for customers, we've also created the Alexa Voice service so that developers can take Alexa everywhere, including into the Sonos One smart speaker, the EcoBee smart thermostat, and soon BMW cars. Now, while interacting with Alexa may feel like magic, it actually requires a lot of deep science. You heard about this yesterday uh, from Rohit, our, our head scientist. And Similar to how the brain processes language, the technology that powers Alexa has many, many connected parts. It's a combination of sophisticated hardware, the power of the AWS cloud, state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms that make something incredibly complex seem delightfully simple. We combine machine learning algorithms that we'd been using in our retail business for years around recommendations and personalization and even our uh, robots in our fulfillment centers. We have AWS's efficient, scalable computation power of course, there's a thin client of software on the device, but the brain that powers it is all backed by AWS in the cloud. And that's how Alexa is always getting smarter. It's still early on day one as we build voice experiences to change the way people interact with technology, and there's plenty more work to do. But let me walk you through some of our big bets. Alexa, always getting smarter. Again, we're, we're a long way from being able to understand language and speech and people's intention as well as humans do, but we're getting closer to our customers every day. And what we've learned from them is that they love the Alexa experience you helped us create. You may not remember this, but when Alexa first launched, Alexa only knew 13 core skills, things like telling people the weather or setting a timer. Today, Alexa has tens of thousands of skills globally, and the majority were built by developers like you. And customers love that the device that they buy today will be even better than a year from now. I don't know about you, most of the devices I seem to buy seem to get dumber over time, but Alexa's not like that. It's your work that makes it possible for Alexa to get smarter every day. Customers in the US, UK, and Germany have left over 100,000 five-star reviews for Echo devices. Nearly half of those five-star reviews include the word love. Customers tell us she becomes part of my daily life. And this is great. This is exactly the goal we had in mind when we started for Alexa to be ready to help whenever there's a need, to become part of the family's routine every day, whether it's checking the weather in the morning or playing music during the day or, or playing a game with the family at night. And this growing loyal base of customers has helped Alexa grow very fast. In fact, uh, customers have purchased tens of millions of Alexa-enabled devices, uh, and following this last Black Friday and Cyber Monday, a couple more million. It's been awesome. Uh, active customers are up nearly 5x since the same time last year. Alexa now comes in many form factors and endpoints. We've discovered that a complimentary screen uh, can really enhance the voice experience for customers. 
This becomes incredibly useful, for example, when you're in the kitchen and someone's cooking, and uh, instead of trying to turn the page or pull out your phone or scrolling on a laptop with dirty hands, they can just ask all recipes to show them. You should try this. It is magical. <laughs> or uh, in my case, if you're a lazy dad and you really want to see what's going on with the baby up in the other room, you simply ask Alexa to show what's on the camera uh, to make sure they're sleeping comfortably. Of course, a customer might do this on their Echo Show today. But we imagine that they might do this on the screen uh, of the refrigerator or perhaps on a, a digital photo display. We, we think customers will want all these choices. There are a variety of devices and price points to redefine everyday convenience for customers. This year, we've en enabled new multimodal experience with the Echo Show and the Echo Spot. We've extended Alexa to the Fire TV and the Fire tablets. And we've partnered with companies who are working with us to integrate Alexa into their own products using AVS. We want you to continue to expand the choices for customers with the innovations you've built. We aim to provide a rich set of tools and capabilities to help you give your vision a voice, whether it's adding new capabilities to Alexa through the Alexa Skills Kit, or integrating Alexa into your device with the Alexa Voice Service, or now more recently connecting devices to Alexa with smart home and gadget APIs. It's the work of developers like you that's truly accelerating Alexa's knowledge and made her available across an increasingly wide range of form factors and endpoints. You are the pioneers in conversational AI, and we're focused on giving you the tools to give your vision a voice. In the last year, we've launched more than 100 new products, programs, features, and updates for developers. A couple of these include the Alexa Skill Builder. It's a completely new interface for creating voice experiences a skill management API and command line interface to programmatically manage and test your skills, new and improved skill APIs for smart home productivity, video content and gadgets, we'll talk more about that later, and the Alexa Developer Rewards Program so that you can get paid for the skills that customers engage with most in seven, uh, most in seven popular categories. Your vision is bringing Alexa to speakers, to cars, to toys, smartphones, appliances, and TVs. You're enabling customers to access Alexa wherever they want her. And there are now tens of thousands of developers who are integrating Alexa into their devices. Recent launches include new devices from Sonos and Ecobee, GE, and Anchor. You've launched skills from almost every smart home company to extend the convenience you already provided through voice. Over a thousand devices are certified in our Works with Amazon Alexa program. These include customer favorites like Philips Hughes, Sony, LG, Honeywell, Arlo, as well as all the other brands that you see here on the screen. These partners make it easy to control smart devices, including lights and thermostats, cameras, smart TVs, and more. And technology integrators like Crestron, Control4, and Lutron have built high-end automation and control systems that work with Alexa in the home. You have created more than 25,000 skills globally that are available on tens of millions of Alexa devices. And these skills range from uh, ride sharing or ordering pizza, airline information, health and wellness, local skills, games, and more. One of my favorites, we even have a Star Trek red alert skill. You should try this out. Uh, and a skill for the Royal Opera House in Covent Garden. It, spans a broad spectrum. Our goal is to make a skill for every customer. It isn't possible without you. So we've been super excited to see customer engagement with skills continue to increase as Alexa selection grows. You've also created 100 engaging skills for kids since we announced that Alexa supports kids skills in the US a few months ago. These great experience for kids under 13 range from Tricky Genie, a fun story puzzle game, to the SpongeBob Challenge from Nickelodeon, Sesame Street from Sesame Workshop, and Amazon Storytime. I've been really impressed by the vision of developers all around the world, and we've asked some of our early developers to tell us about their experience. Let's hear from them. We started out with a small idea. We wanted to create the world's first interactive radio drama. We were mobile first to begin with, Luckily, Alexa came along. I remember, you know, I told my team, okay, I think we're gonna make a pivot here. I think we're gonna focus on Alexa. I have thousands and thousands of connects. And I'm like, 
why not try and learn Alexa and do something cool with the Raspberry Pi? I remember I spent almost an entire weekend doing it, like barely any sleep. My first skill is pretty simple. It's called Black History Every Day. Patricia Bath, first black woman to serve on staff. It started to work on April 3rd, 2017, which happened to be my 60th birthday. And I cried when it worked. I cried tears of joy. Tell unofficial Raspberry Pi car to move the car forward. The car is moving forward. We are driving my car with my voice. <laughs> Please tell me what category of words you want to practice on. Adjective. Great. How do you say curious? Curious. You said it correctly. I built Dr. Speech, and this is a skill that helps educating people how to speak better. Because people who are from overseas, they are self-aware about how they speak. I have one user, he literally like wrote a message in Chinese to me like that. Doctor's speech is really helpful and thank you for building it. SmartCap takes the images from the camera and it interprets what's in the image and then it narrates the scene to the visually impaired person through Amazon Alexa. Alexa? Ask SmartCap to describe the scene. It is a desk with a monitor and a laptop computer sitting on a table. As soon as I saw the video of the person using the device, it was a eureka moment for me and the feeling from inside is like you are doing something good in life and it can help others to achieve what they want. One of the other projects I created, I called it Alexa in the browser. You could just go to a web page and you had a, a virtual Echo. It was just a, a white circle on the page. And it became a product called EchoSim.io, which is a Echo simulator. It's amazing, I, I go to events and I see people kind of developing Echo skills and they fire up EchoSim.io on their laptop and they just sort of talk to Alexa through that. And it's like, oh yeah, that's, that's running my code underneath. <laughs> We're on the cusp of a revolution, a voice revolution. Voice definitely is the most powerful medium, I can say, which can change the world. It is so powerful that I think in 2018, it will be a big year for the voice space. That's why I want to be a pi pioneer in this space, yeah. And now is the time to, to start learning this stuff and to get involved in it because so many developers you look at and go, oh, if I could have gone back 10 years ago. As a result of the shift of voice, we've reached a much, much broader audience than we ever thought was possible. That is a much bigger future than anything that I had originally expected. <laughs>
And the cool thing about this now is because we're seeing so much traction and adoption, is customers are starting to demand that same functionality in other places, in hotels, in uh, luxury boxes in stadiums, um, in dorm rooms, and, and more. Since we launched the smart home capabilities of Alexa in uh, early 2015, um, we've seen terrific engagement. Um, it's one of the most highly engaged capabilities of Alexa. Customers are engaged millions of times a day uh, with smart home. And it's really simple scenarios, like when you're going uh, to bed at night, you want to leave the kitchen and the TV's on. Instead of finding the remote, you just say, Alexa, turn off the TV. And it's really magical. In September, we uh, had a, whole, a bunch of launches and announcements around Echo, um, and Smart Home was a big part of that. Uh, we uh, launched uh, the new Echo Plus uh, Echo device. Uh, this uh, Echo has a built-in Smart Home hub, and it's designed to make it even easier for new customers, customers who are new to Smart Home, to get started. We added the ability to have routines, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a, in a couple minutes. Um, we added uh, a better support for groups, which made the voice interaction uh, much more uh, straightforward and simple. But most importantly, we, for you as developers, we expanded um, and re-architected the Smart Home API. Um, and it's now the, what we call the third generation of the Smart Home API that's part of the Alexa Skills Kit. Um, we support all of the popular device types, lights, thermostats, door locks, security cameras, smart TVs, audio video receivers. But the way we crafted the API um, was uh, in a way that allows you as developers to really support any device you can think of. And so an example of this is we have a, a controller interface within the API called percentage controller. And it's nominally used for lighting, set the lights to 30%. But it could be used, for example, for anything that has any sort of a, a gradient-based actuator, like a robotic arm. Set the robot's arm to 30%. So I encourage you as developers to explore the API and see what you can build with it. We also added the ability to, let, to Alexa for her to know the state of the devices. So now it's even more robust and faster for you to ask for example, Alexa, what's the temperature upstairs? We all have our habits, our daily habits, getting up in the morning, uh, getting the kids off to school. We added routines to Alexa. This is an Alexa capability where as a, as a customer, you can define a voice phrase that uh, will then, Alexa will then uh, execute a series of actions, uh, one or more actions. So for example, in my house, every morning when I get up, walk into the bathroom and I say, Alexa, rise and shine. And that triggers Alexa to turn on the bathroom lights, turn on my driveway lights because I like to have light when I back out. It's always dark in Seattle this time of year in the morning. Um, and start playing my flash briefing and read me the traffic report for my commute. Um, and we're going to continue to invest in routines to make it so that anything that you can do in Alexa, you can do within a routine. So not only are we seeing terrific engagement and love from customers who are using Alexa Smart Home, we're also seeing engagement from device manufacturers and developers. There are now hundreds of uh, smart home skills available for Alexa, covering almost every smart home and IoT brand that you can imagine. We're continuing to innovate rapidly on that API to add more capabilities. Over the last year and a half, we've added support for color for lights, uh, of thermostat control, door lock control, uh, smart TVs, uh, and security cameras. The camera stuff is really cool. Tom uh, talked to this briefly, but the ability on any Alexa device that has a screen or a Fire TV that's paired to an Echo device, you can now say, Alexa, show me the front door camera or show me the baby's room, and Alexa will show that camera feed to you. We've seen just great adoption with this. Uh, since Echo Show launched, uh, over 30% of customers who have bought Echo Shows have attached smart home cameras to Alexa. It's pretty impressive. And also, we're really, really... Uh, uh, working hard to make sure the quality of the experience is high because people are depending on smart home. 
I mean, when you tell Alexa to turn on the lights, it better work. And so we've got a program we call Works with Amazon Alexa, which is a logo program that makes it easy for customers on Amazon.com to know that the devices they're shopping for will work well with Alexa, reliably um, and fast. And we have over 1,100 devices in the Amazon smart home store that uh, uh, have this logo today. So smart home isn't just for the home. Um, in the win here in Las Vegas, uh, this is a picture of one of their suites. And you'll see on the right, uh, by that lamp there, a white Echo. Um, so they've installed Echo devices in these suites. And uh, as a customer, as a, as a, uh, you walk into one of these suites and just say, Alexa, open the shades. Or Alexa, turn off the lights. Or Alexa, uh, set privacy mode. And this is smart home, it's, but it's in a hotel. Um, we're also seeing adoption um, of these types of scenarios in other places. Uh, the Seattle Mariners wanted to have more engagement of customers that were in the luxury suites. So they installed Echoes in uh, all 56 of the luxury suites at uh, Safeco Field. And now customers who are in, in those uh, suites can order food, they can watch replays, uh, they can play trivia games, all using the power of voice. The feedback on this has been extremely positive, and other uh, Major League Baseball teams, as well as NBA teams, are starting to adopt Alexa in their suites. So smart home is one of the most habitual features of Alexa today, and we're leaning into that. Um, and we're moving beyond just the home into new areas, and with this, it's a real opportunity for all of us to, to serve our mutual customers um, and change the way we live. So whether you're a smart home, device manufacturer, you build IoT devices, you're a software developer in the corporate space, or you're an at-home hobbyist, I encourage you to give your vision a voice. With that, I'd like to introduce Priya, who's going to come up and talk about Alexa Voice Services. Thank you, Charlie. We envision a world where Alexa is everywhere, a smart world, so to speak. So I want to talk to you about how we are working with device manufacturers and makers to bring Alexa to all sorts of experiences, from the home to the car and to your office. As we shift to an ambient computing environment, voice will simply be woven into our daily lives. Our vision is that customers will simply be able to say Alexa without having to think about which device they're talking to or where they're located. Alexa will be directly integrated into brands customers know and love. A few of the latest devices released include Sonos recently launched its new Sonos One smart speaker with Alexa. Smart thermostat maker Ecobee has incorporated Alexa into its thermostats so you can simply ask the device to raise or lower the, the temperature. GE has built an intelligent LED lamp that incorporates Alexa. Anchor has incorporated Alexa into its new Eufy Genie smart speaker. We want Alexa to be accessible to our customers in every room of the home, in the office, in the enterprise, in the car, and on the go. Our AVS partners will be very essential to helping us achieve this vision. This is what my team is out to accomplish with the Alexa voice service. We want to make it incredibly easy for developers and manufacturers to build Alexa directly into their products without needing a background in complex technologies such as natural language understanding or speech recognition. We provide OEMs with tools and resources to design, build, and launch products with Alexa directly built into the products. This brings customers more choice of where and how to access Alexa, whether they're speaking to Alexa through a thermostat in the living room, or through a lamp in their office, or even driving their car. In addition to the home, voice is a natural way for customers to interact with their cars when they're, while they're on the go. In September, we announced that Alexa will be available in BMW and mini vehicles starting in mid-2018. 
customers will be able to use their voice to enjoy content like music and news. But it also opens up new possibilities for customers to access skills from their car. For example, they will be able to ask Alexa to turn on the porch lights or adjust their home's temperature when they start the drive home from work. Or they could ask Alexa to order their favorite Starbucks coffee so they can skip the line and get on with their day. We want to make it easier for developers and device makers to build voice-enabled products. This ultimately brings more choice to the customers. So we set out to share what we had learned during making Alexa and Echo. Now, we provide these resources to our developers. We have built a variety of tools and capabilities for OEMs to start modeling of the Echo family of devices. We have launched a range of development kits that are available on our portal today that provide technologies for voice capture, including far field mic arrays, software for wake work detection and audio cleanup, and SDKs to connect and interface with the cloud-based Alexa voice service. Seven development kits are currently available based on Amazon developed technology, as well as technology from Synaptics, Intel, and NXP, offering device maker solutions with different features, performance, cost, and form factors. We want flexible choices for device makers to create the best voice experiences for their product and in turn, making Alexa accessible to more people. As the next progression in making it easier for device makers to integrate Alexa, today, I'm very happy to introduce two new categories of Alexa voice service solution providers. And these are system integrators and original de design manufacturers. These solution providers allow device makers to leverage more complete designs that are already pre-integrated with technologies needed for a hands-free Alexa experience. This will make the overall time to market even faster. Among systems integrators, we are pleased to introduce LinkPlay, Libre Wireless, Sugar, and DTS PlayFi. These companies offer technology solutions and design services with expertise in building Alexa-enabled products. They can help OEMs shorten the time to market when building hands-free Alexa-enabled products by leveraging qualified software and hardware solutions. Among original design manufacturers, we are working with Tonely Electronics, Wistron, and a number of other companies to launch fully featured final product designs with Alexa that device makers can white label. Tonely has built a high quality Alexa enabled smart speaker and Vistron has built a smaller profile smart speaker with new unique capabilities. Vistron's CEO, Robert Wong, is incidentally here attending the session. So thank you for participating. These white label solutions can help OEMs in streamlining new product designs and manufacturers, manufacturing cycle times, which normally take from nine to 18 months. Device makers seeking to get to market quickly with new and innovative voice driven products now have an even wider network of companies that offer Alexa enabled solutions and technologies. And these solutions adopt and work across the product development continuum. We look forward to adding even more solutions in the future. We invite leading voice technology and solution providers in the consumer electronics space to join us to give your vision a voice. Thank you. Now, I would like to introduce Scout Van Vliet, our Chief Director of Fun, to talk about gaming and entertainment. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Scott, and I probably have one of the coolest jobs at Amazon. I get to work on games with Alexa, which is super awesome. Um, after introducing the first Alexa-enabled device in 2014, the Echo, 
um, music and entertainment quickly emerged as something our customers loved the most, bringing fun into their homes. And when we launched the Alexa Skills Kit in 2015, developers leaned into that fun by creating games. Today, developers are doing even more to merge the worlds of gaming and Alexa, creating a whole new type of fun. Let's take a quick look at some of that fun. <laughs> Your turn. Just need a, a four and a five. OK, uh, two words. It, it's a hamster. No, uh, a gerbil. Squirrel. Fine. Next question. Who was the US president in 1957? Eisenhower? Oh, Jim, man, see you back there. Whatever, man. Another round. Whoa. Alexa, let's play a game. Sure, let's play a game. This is Jeopardy! Let's see what our clues are today. Ahoy, matey! Welcome to Nickelodeon SpongeBob Challenge! Welcome to the revolution, friend. Let me ask you again. Are you a one or a zero? Street, this is Martin Collins. ISS Bin Dragon, come in. Cerise, live from Europa! Combined to make a spork. No! Eyes up, Guardian. Let's show them what we got. It's fun, right? Um. <laughs> Now, I've been a gamer all of my life, um, but I'm really excited about games on Alexa. It's a totally new space. Voice games go beyond the screen and transform you or transport you into a new world, enabling us to use our own imaginations, like when we read books, um, to visualize the characters and landscapes based on that narrative that we just heard. We can design voice experiences that evoke emotion, get our neurons firing, and enable us to solve problems in new and novel ways. Today, developers of voice games are pioneers um, in a nascent space. Um, historically, in emerging environments, like uh, you know, mobile, for example, um, it was indie developers who initiated a whole new touch paradigm. Um, instead of using standard game pads or um, keyboards and mice to control the game, we learned to slice fruit like a ninja and to touch, drag, and fling angry birds. Uh, best practices in game design and the dynamics of games will likely be reinvented as games evolve in voice. Now, there are already thousands of games available on Alexa, including some of our most popular skills, like 20 Questions, Yes, Sire, The Magic Door, and a fan favorite, Jeopardy. We've made it easy for you, the developers, to create game skills with templates and tools, but we're unleashing a whole new way to play and build games with Alexa. In September, we introduced Alexa Gadgets. The heart of this new category of, of connected products and developer tools is all about building fun experiences with Alexa. We showed you the all new Echo buttons, which you saw in the video and you see here on the screen, um, that work with your compatible Echo device. And we've already shared uh, that developers are already working on skills that work with Echo Buttons. These include Trivial Pursuit Tap from Hasbro, Sounds Fun with Mike Epps, Buzzer Beater Basketball Trivia with Carl Anthony Towns. Thank you. These are very hard to say. Uh, fourth Down Football Trivia with Philip Rivers, Full Count Baseball Trivia with Buster Posey, for those Giants fans, and beat the intro from Musicplode. And by early next year, we're excited to release the Gadget Skill API, enabling all of you, the developers, to build skills that work with Echo Buttons. We're also going to provide game templates and tools that you can use to easily build fun and interactive games that include uh, support for multiple players, 
um, sequence and pattern matching, um, as well as other game modes. Um, earlier this week, we actually held several sessions here at reInvent to give you an early preview of the Gadget Skill API and to learn how to build games and experiences with Echo Buttons. For those of you who missed the opportunity to participate in one of our workshops or our breakout sessions, I'd encourage you to visit the Alexa developer portal to sign up. We'll notify you once the tools are available uh, and look forward to see what kind of fun you create with our APIs. Now, as excited as I am about games on Alexa and voice games, I'm still a huge console and PC gamer. Who else here loves playing AAA console games like Destiny 2? I got a few fans here, that's exciting. Well, earlier this year, our friends at Activision came to us with an incredible idea. They were working on Destiny 2, the sequel to their massively successful um, first-person action game available on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. In this game, a character known as Ghost is a levitating artificial intelligence and companion that provides players with useful information, um, stats, uh, as well as um, helps protect the player's kind of power levels and immortality in the game. Well, I'm super excited today to talk about the Destiny 2 Ghost skill. Now, we have our friends here from Activision with us, and I'd like to introduce Byron Beatty, Senior Vice President of Destiny 2, to tell you more about what they did. All right, hi everybody, I'm Byron, and I have the great honor of working at Activision on the Destiny franchise. We've got something pretty cool to show you, but first, for those of you who may not be familiar with Destiny, let me give you a little bit of background. A couple years ago, the legendary video game developer Bungie came to us with this incredible idea for a new video game. It was gonna combine the epic thrill of an action game and allow you to deeply invest in your character like a role-playing game, and it would all take place in this incredible, huge online world that you'd share with other players. And we thought this was going to be just a phenomenal video game idea. And sure enough, when we launched it in September of 2014, it became the biggest new console video game IP ever launched. But what was even more shocking um, is how engaging and immersive the world was. On average, players were spending 100 hours in the game. Now, to put that in perspective, think about Star Wars. That's like the average Star Wars fan watching the movie 50 times. It was just incredible. So a few weeks ago, we launched Destiny 2 in September 2017. And right out of the gates, it became the biggest game launch of 2017. It's even bigger than Destiny 1. And so far, the engagement in it has been just staggering. So that's a little bit of background on Destiny. What I want to talk to you about today is this new ghost skill that we're excited about. Now, as, as Scott said, central to the Destiny experience is this character called the Ghost. He's your guide in the game. He goes with you everywhere you go in the universe. He's, he's your, your every-time companion. He's also your mechanic, so when things break down, he fixes, thing for, th fixes things for you. And he provides valuable intel throughout this wondrous universe for you. He goes with you everywhere. He's your companion. And we thought that's a lot like the, the Alexa experience. Each is this ex essential companion that provides tremendous value to us. So we thought, how awesome would it be if we could bring the ghost to life using the Alexa experience? But to do this, we decided we, had to do, we were going to do four things to make this come to life. The first, it, it had to be active. It had to provide actual in-game functionality to our players. The second is it had to be personal. It had to know who I am as a player and what my individual needs are. And it had to follow me throughout my game experience. Next, it had to be approachable for players. Whether you're a thousand hour player or you're brand new to the Destiny universe, it had to be, it had to be useful to you. And finally, it had to be authentic. We wanted to capture the spirit and the character of the ghost within the game itself and went through this skill. So we worked with um, Bungie and our partners at AKQA to bring this skill to life. And right now, the ghost skill has, has hundreds of actual in-game actions. And I'm going to show you some in a minute. The ghost also has personalized responses up to the second based on where you are as an individual in the game. Next, we've recorded thousands of lines from Nolan North, who actually voices the ghost in the game. So it's truly an authentic experience for the gamer to hear Nolan North's voice come out of the ghost. And finally, there's millions of different answer permutations for, based on the individual questions that players are asking in the universe. So what I'd like to do is introduce you to Joe, Ghost. First, Alexa, ask Ghost to say hello. 
There you are. Hello, Guardian. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so what I'd like to do is walk you through maybe what a typical experience would be for using the ghost skill within the Destiny universe. So Destiny is this huge, huge game with lots of planets and worlds to explore and lots of different activities. So the first thing you might do when you boot up the game is decide what you want to do next. Now, if you open up the console, it'll show you the milestones that you have um, ahead of you, but you might not know which milestone will give you the, the best rewards. So this is where the ghost comes in handy. I can say, Alexa, ask ghost what I should do next in Destiny. We haven't completed the nightfall strike yet. Let's go save the solar system. Again. So that response will be different for every player based on where you are that week and where you are in the game in general. And you can do this without even turning on the console or PC. You can simply ask the, the ghost skill. So now we're going to hit a nightfall strike within the universe. And this is a guardian in Destiny. And the nightfall strikes are super fun, but they're very, very challenging. So I gotta make sure that my guardian has the most powerful gear that I have on. And this is super cool within the game. And the skill is that if I really like a loadout for my character, I can save it using this skill and I can call it up. So in this case, I want my strike loadout. So I'm gonna ask Alexa, equip my strike loadout. Your favorite strike loadout is equipped. Now let's show them what we got. Yeah. It, it brings a smile to my face every time. It's, it's so fun. It's so awesome. And that's just the beginning of this skill. I can ask it to equip my most powerful primary weapon or power weapon just using my voice command. It's, it's incredible. But I just realized I'm jumping into this nightfall strike all by myself. And that's one of the beautiful things about Destiny is that it's this huge social universe. So I'm going to get my butt kicked if I go in here alone. So what I'm going to do is ask Ghost for backup. So I'm going to say, Alexa, ask Ghost to call for backup. Call for backup sent. Hopefully we'll get some help soon. So that sends out a push notification to all my friends in my Destiny 2 clan, letting them know that I'm online playing Destiny, and I'd love for them to join me in this activity. So you can already see players are jumping in my game with me. And I can, again, I can do this even when the game's not on if I want to check to see how many of my friends are playing Destiny to see if I want to jump on the game. And finally, there's so much in this Destiny world to explore, from the worlds to the characters to the enemies and so forth. And Ghost can help me discover more about these things. In this case, I'm under attack by the Red Legion. They're raining from the sky, and I might want to find out more about these guys. So I'll say, Alexa, ask Ghost who are the Red Legion. Not your ordinary cabal. They were bred and designed to overthrow entire worlds, and we can't let them take over ours. They can dual wield huge blades, throw fire, and unleash military hounds to chase us down and maul us to death. But I'm sure you'll be able to handle them. So Ghost is loaded with hundreds of responses like this, and we even put in quite a few Easter eggs for our fans to discover. So whether it's figuring out what to do next, managing your gear, enhancing your social interaction, or exploring the story in the universe at a deeper level, we're really fired up about this skill. We think it's, it's pretty awesome. And the skill is live today. You can check it out, the Destiny 2 Go skill, right now in the Amazon Alexa app. But before you go, we have one more thing I want to show you. In typical Destiny fashion, we wanted to go as far as we could go. So in three weeks, we're going to be re releasing a limited edition Destiny 2 Ghost. And what this is, is a Wi-Fi speaker that connects to your, to your Alexa, or Alexa devices. And so when you do these voice commands, Nolan North's voice, the voice of Ghost, comes directly through the Ghost speaker, and it lights up with each prompt. So the Ghost is truly coming to life in your living room in this experience. So we've had so much fun developing this and playing with it and with the game. We're really excited about it. And over the coming months, we'll be providing more support for it, adding new features, and listening to our community about what they want to see next in the universe. For us, this is just the first step in this journey. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Byron, and thank you for making it impossible to follow you. Uh, but we're getting to the money slide. You know, when we created Alexa, we knew you would come up with innovative new ideas fast, and you have. 
We see you as pioneers in conversational AI. You've already built experiences that we never even would have dreamed of to reach customers on tens of millions of Alexa devices. Today, I want to share how we plan to help you build a profitable business on Alexa over time. I talked earlier about our mission at Amazon to be Earth's most customer-centric company. So it's no surprise to lead through customer obsession and invention. It's no surprise that our philosophy guides our approach to monetization on Alexa. So our approach is going to be founded on four major principles. First, uh, Alexa monetization experiences lead with voice. And so creating magical voice-first interaction is, gets better um, with more form factors and endpoints. So we're going to be focused on voice. Two. Developers win when customers win. So we'll pay you for the most content and with greatest customer satisfaction and delight and engagement. Three, should be easy. Amazon will deliver core transactional capabilities that are familiar to you and contextually relevant to customers in a voice-first world. While we help you make money, we also make, aim to make skill development and maintenance as inexpensive as possible. And finally, customer trust. Talking to Alexa is seen as a conversation with a trusted friend. So our monetization programs are going to be built with security and privacy and trust as our top priority. Let me tell you about the results we're already seeing with our Alexa developer rewards program. When you build delightful, useful, and habitual skills, customers and developers both win. Earlier this year, we introduced this program to pay developers for the most engaging skills on Alexa in seven key categories. The feedback we've heard from the community is incredibly positive. Since the program launched in May, we've paid out millions of dollars to developers in 22 countries who have skills live in the US, UK, and Germany. And we'll be expanding the program eligibility to skills in Japan, India, and Canada in 2018. Developers of some of the most popular skills have actually earned tens of thousands of dollars so far this year. And a select few of the most engaging skills can expect to earn over $100,000 over the course of a year. We've heard from some that using the money they earn to invest further in building new skills or in continuing to enhance the skills that they have. It's great. I'm happy to announce three new ways to monetize with Alexa, all available in developer preview today. First, you can enable in-skill purchasing with one-time purchase and subscriptions within your skills. And you can use Amazon Pay to make your skill payment experience completely frictionless. Last month, we introduced subscription capabilities with a double Jeopardy, the first skill in our private subscription beta. Jeopardy is a favorite in the Alexa store. So millions of customers have tested their knowledge with a familiar quiz show on Alexa. The double Jeopardy subscription delivers this by doubling the amount of playable content in the Jeopardy skill. So customers can subscribe for the additional content for $1.99 a month, and Amazon Prime members get double jeopardy for free as a benefit of their subscription. How effective this, is this model? It's great. We took a popular skill, we doubled the amount of content, and provided real value for customers. Reviews of the skill have improved, and you can see some of the comments from real customers on the screen. Works great. It's early days, so, so far this model is good for customers, it's good for jeopardy. It's a win win. Today, we're also announcing the familiar way to monetize skills with a one-time in-skill purchase. To start, we'll launch five skills with an in-skill purchase in the coming weeks. We're announcing some new skills like Match Game, Heads Up, and Ultimate History Quiz, and some updates to existing favorites like Teen Jeopardy and Sports Jeopardy. All of these skills will have free content and offer in-skill purchase for additional premium content, a familiar model. We're also making it easier for customers to purchase goods and services using just their voice that's outside of an app. Now we're offering Amazon Pay, which enables customers to easily use payment information already available in their Amazon account without having to pull out a credit card, remember their username and password. We've seen great improvements in purchase conversion with Amazon Pay, and so we expect the whole experience being built, first, being built voice first to be great in this environment. For example, customers can now order ahead from TGI Fridays and will soon be able to purchase movie tickets from the Adam skill. And next year, 
Charities such as the American Heart Association, RED, ASPCA, and more will be able to use Amazon Pay to fulfill donations using their voice through Alexa. It's a seamless experience, no need for a customer to grab their credit card and remember another password. Subscriptions, in-skill purchases, and Amazon Pay are all available today in developer preview with select developers. You can apply to participate in the preview on our website. Self-service tools to add subscriptions or purchase capabilities to your skills will be coming in 2018. Alexa has grown into a significant business for Amazon, and we're excited to bring you the ability to build your own voice-first business while bringing new, engaging, and premium content and goods to customers. Let me tell you about one more way to grow your business. When we said we want Alexa to be everywhere, that also meant new countries. Alexa has expanded from the US to the UK, Germany, uh, India, recently in Canada and Japan. In India, we were delighted to ship our Alexa devices with over 10,000 English language skills for customers. And in Japan, customers can use hundreds of new skills that were specifically built for Japanese customers. We're not stopping there. We're announcing the expansion of Alexa to Australia and New Zealand early next year. So, <laughs> Starting today, developers can start building experiences for customers in Australia and New Zealand using the Alexa Skills Kit. Developers will be able to hit the ground running and get their skills ready when Alexa launches to customers in early 2018. Hint, hint. Support for the Alexa voice service is also coming soon. I'm also excited to share some new information about the Alexa Fund, which is our venture capital arm of Alexa. As Alexa continues to expand in new countries, we think now is the time to expand our Alexa Fund efforts. Today, we're excited to announce up to an additional $100 million in venture capital for the Alexa Fund, targeted specifically at opportunities outside the US. This allows to support and empower the developers, entrepreneurs, and companies around the world to build new voice experiences. Very exciting time. It's been an incredibly exciting year as we work together to redefine everyday convenience for customers. Alexa is now available on tens of millions of devices. Customer engagement is growing fast. You're the pioneers in conversational AI. You make Alexa smarter and can help bring Alexa everywhere. I can't wait to see what we do together. We've covered a lot of ground and there's a lot more to go. Things are moving fast. There's never been a better time to give your vision a voice. Thank you.